Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm of course Big Vale, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to take down the last chance qualifier challenge in Clash of Clans. Now, before we get started, guys, I'm just going to flex the new queen skin here. So look at her. Just look at her. She is beautiful. Those flaming arrows. What happens when we fire off her ability? Does anything different happen? Uh, oh, look at those archers. How cool is that? How cool is that? Just like the Champion King, the Champion Queen spawns her own little brood of, I don't know, Champion Archers? Pretty OP. Anyway, let's get into the breakdown of the base. Let's talk through how we actually take out this challenge base. And then I will show you me taking it down. And here it is in all its glory, guys. So this is P. Castro's base from the Last Chance Qualifiers. And it was taken down with the Turia Tapatan Smash. Okay, so if you're wondering what that is, well, you can see across the bottom of the screen, we've got Super Archers, we've got Yetis, and that, that's basically the main bulk of the attack. But how do we break this down? So there's many different variations that you'll have seen out there, but I chose to flatter the original attacker. Let's call it flattery, by just replicating what they did, and it works out really, really well. So, how you want to do this, guys, you want to start off with a baby dragon dropped in here. So, the reason why you're doing that is you want to take out these structures, and you're basically looking to create pathing. So, while your baby dragon's doing its thing there, you'll drop a balloon and a minion on this mortar here. So, that'll take that out. And then, what we're left here, guys, is the path works around here. So, we can move into that Eagle Artillery compartment without the without too many Super Archers wandering. We'll get some, but you'll, yeah, you get the picture. We're also going to drop a Wall Breaker to open up by the Cannon compartment just here. And the idea is basically to. A little bit of spreading goes on, but we're basically powering all of our Yetis, Super Archers, the King, the Queen, the Warden, all in through that gap that we've made there, and this ready-made gap in 6 o'clock compartment. Simple as that, really. There is more to it, of course, and we'll continue with the talk through now. So, with that in play, we're then going to send our log launcher in. So, the log launcher is going to be dropped somewhere around here, and we're looking to ideally open up walls as far as this single inferno. So, as far as here. If we can open up as far as that, brilliant. If not, then we should at least damage the wall and we can open it up with a couple of our earthquakes. So we've got four quakes. Use them as you wish. Okay, so log launch is moving through. That will hopefully clip open this compartment here. So it'll allow our yetis to move in towards the scatter shot. It will damage a few structures on the way, but really it's more about just building pathing for our main portion of the smash to work its way through here and of course into there but while that's happening and when we've got the cc pulled out this is key you don't want to do this before the cc is pulled otherwise you're going to be in a world of pain you want to drop probably two or three skeleton spells in a row along here over at eight o'clock then you're going to send your rc in so those skeleton spells will tank really nicely for all of the defences plus the queen in that compartment. You can invest the freeze if you need to, but the RC should be able to clear out everything in there. And will actually continue to work way up and around as well. Though, meanwhile, there's not that much more to tell you. Honestly, guys, there's not that much more to go into. So we've got the smash in play. One thing that I don't like about this army is that it doesn't have any rage spells. I'd like to have one rage in exchange for two of the freezes, perhaps. That'd be ideal. But we don't have that, so we work with what we've got. Uh, but yeah, you just basically use your freezes from there to protect your heroes and what troops you've got left working through. Again, you use your quakes appropriately. If you need to use them to open up the single inferno compartment, then do it. If you can spare some to damage the town hall, that's good too. You know, town hall takedown is kind of important. So guys, without further ado, let's get into the replay. Well, it's not a replay, it's one that I actually pre-recorded earlier on. And I'll show you in action how this uh, plan translates. Okay, so as we talked about, we'll start off with the baby dragon over on the spell factory. And balloon and minion on the mortar. And there we go, pathing created. Super wall breaker moves in, and then we get our yetis. And then super archers spread in. So the yetis are ultimately tanks for the super archers. We've got the king, queen, and warden moving in. Notice that I've got an air warden. That was not on purpose. 
If I can do this with an Air Warden, you can certainly do it with a Ground Warden. So my Air Warden is... I don't even know why I did that. That's what happens when you do Lolo, guys. When you do Lolo in your Legends League, this is what happens. So we've got the Log Launcher down. It's opening up the walls. I didn't quite open up the wall I wanted to, but fortunately the King and the Yak did move over to the right-hand side because the Log Launcher was a little delayed. Uh, you know, small mistakes happen, but, you know, a little bit more precision on the Log Launcher would have helped a little bit. Uh, Log Launcher also didn't open up all the way to the single Inferno, you'll notice. So we dropped the Quakes in to open up that single wall. And single compartment, it's open. It is open. So the problem here was, guys, I didn't actually manage to get my Queen to move in. Ideally, she would have done. She didn't, but luckily we've got a Super Archer with that Queen. Um, now, if this attack was executed a little bit more cleanly, you would have had more troops moving in on the single and it would go down a lot easier. But as it happens, I had to rely on a Super Archer with a few freezes to get that single down. But we got there in the end. We got there. So we've got the King about to go down. We've got a Balloon and a Minion on the 12 o'clock Arch Tower. I didn't mention that before, but it's helpful. If you're running low on troops on the back end of this attack, that Balloon and Minion on the top Arch Tower will help a little bit. It will keep that Queen alive on the back end. You'll see we've got Super Archers on the left side. They're doing some cleanup. So this is what I'm talking about, guys. It doesn't matter if all of your Super Archers don't go inside. In fact, it can sometimes work in your favour if they don't. It means that you've then got those Super Archers there to clean up the rest of the mess that you've missed. So uh, with a minute left, we've got 7% needed, 6% needed, and it's quite clear this is going to be a pretty quick triple. We're going to finish this in about 2 minutes and 15 seconds, which in anyone's book is going to be pretty quick. So yeah, that's how it's done, guys. That is the example of how to take down that base. So follow the plan. You may try, need to try this a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. I didn't get it done the first attempt. It took a couple of tries. But you will get it done if you follow this method. Believe me. It works. As you can see. And guys, it really is as simple as that. So guys, if this has helped you to take down the base. Or if you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash the like button. It really does support the channel when you do that. Also drop a comment to let me know how quickly you did it or if you managed to swag any troops. I haven't tried swagging troops yet. Maybe over the next few days I'll give it a go and see what happens. And of course if you don't already, please do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to be made aware when I go live or when I post videos in the future. I do one or the other pretty much every single day so there's always fresh content on the channel. Until next time, much love. Big Veil is out.